Hello, I'm Dr. Ross. Hi, Teresa, nice to meet you. How are you doing, Dr. Ross? What's going on, honey? So you're here to get her spayed? Get her spayed. Okay, is this your baby? Yeah. Did you come up with the name, honey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kiss me. You can clean your ears. I know, right? <laughs> I babe last night, okay? I really love kinkachus. They up all night. They have pretty eyes. They love to play. They love to climb. They're cute and cuddly. <laughs> so how is Honey at home? Does she have a big cage? Does she have a, her own room? She has a three-story cage. And if you're by the cabinet where her bananas are, she'll climb all the way up your leg <laughs> to get a banana. Yeah, get here. There you go. It says here, Honey, six months. To have a kinkachu, you have to make sure that you have time for them and make sure that you get them sterilized because when they become two years of age, they can become mean if they're not spayed or neutered. I don't put any outside sutures on kinkachus because they like to pick, so everything's gonna be internal. Okay, great. You have a, a tiny pet weighing two pounds. You have to be precise when you're making your incisions and working with those tiny organs. Thank we will you. shave the belly. She's gonna be bald like Dr. Ross. No <laughs> hair. But her hair will grow back. Want me to keep this with her? Normally we don't keep toys, but I'm gonna give her this for you, okay? So she can have some company when she wakes up. Get in there. All right, All right. I'll give you guys a call as soon as the change's done, okay? All right, thank you. Hi, Kier. Yes. We got something new here for you. We're gonna do blow work. You may have to mask her down. Oh, okay. You can put a catheter in, and we're just doing it as a routine spike. Okay. I told the owner, we're gonna put this in a cage for you. Aw. You got Mickey. your mini mouse? Yeah. Today we're spaying Honey the Kinkachu, and Kiara's getting her all ready and prepped for surgery. Good baby. He the mini. So I've never did surgery on a kinkajou. I'm sedating her right now. For kinkajous, we normally box them down and give them a little gas, just kind of relax them a little bit to calm them down because we can't place a catheter, especially since they're very squirmy. I don't know if it's gonna take a lot, if it's gonna take a little, like. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch her. Oh, so apparently it hits them a lot faster because she's already feeling it. I seen her just wobble over. She's thin, a little funny. Oh, yeah, she's definitely wobbling. Long tail. So is this your first kink at juice bay? Mm, yeah, this is my first. No different than doing a cat spay. It's like doing a mini cat spay. Yeah, this stuff is tiny in there, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna cut her up a little bit because it seems like her heart rate is getting a little higher. Uh -huh. She's breathing a little harder. I'm the surgeon. I'm, I'm expecting, I'm trusting you with that side. You tell me we need to cut up, cut it up. So, getting a second ovary out. This is crazy. You're really spaying the kinkajou. You like the spay master. <laughs> it's like the smallest uterus I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It is pretty tiny. I think the rat I did was, was larger than this. All right. There it is. Wow. Look how small those ovaries are. Oh, my. And you're not going to put outside sutures, right? Uh -uh. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. We will get her recovered. Come on, Mama. Come on. Say bye-bye. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. You coming with? Yes. Come on. <laughs> you ready? Hello. Hello. Here's your baby. <laughs> There you go. Hi, right. sweet girl. Um, surgery went great. I gave her pain medicine before the surgery, but these are her medications start tonight. You have an opioid here and you have some anti-inflammatories. Uh, are you going to be in charge of giving medicine? It's easy. She'll eat it like a little treat. There you go. 
We have to be careful with the surgery part well, of it. Well, you know, you do have to be careful because she's going to want to move, jump, run. She doesn't know that she just had her ovaries and her uterus removed. So we want to make sure that we just be mindful, don't let her do a lot of running, jumping, climbing, which is what they love to do. So you may have to keep, keep her isolated to a small, yeah, isolated to a smaller area. What I did do, you may feel or see, I put pieces of glue on her fur around her body to keep her active. Because they, they're very clean, they like to clean themselves. And if she sees something, they've got to distract her okay. so she's not looking at her incision. Overall, she'll be fine. Yeah, everybody was in the back loving on her. You sure you, want, you sure you don't want me to have her? She could be the clinic pet. We need a <laughs> clinic pet. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, we you take out. I have a question about her diet. All she wants to eat is bananas. We have to entice her to eat other things. So I would cut up different fruits and just leave them there. She ate pineapple, papaya. Papaya is good because it's rough, it's roughish, and it helps kind of scale those teeth. Okay. Uh, but I'll see if I have some literature um, on some different things. Oh, she missed her. She missed her mommy. <laughs> For the most part, she did well. You all say bye? Bye bye. Come on, come on, Dr. Rob. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I know you're still drunk. Bye bye. You have one last chance. You sure you don't want me to have her? <laughs> All right, well, you go ahead and take her back. There you go. Mom got some food for you. There you go. Thank you for taking care of her. Oh, no problem. If you ever need a babysitter, call me, okay? <laughs> Say okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.